This is the closest I've experienced it. It turns out not one but two tornadoes touched down in southeastern Wisconsin last night. And that is our big story tonight. Two times the cleanup. The National Weather Service confirming two tornadoes hit last night. One near Lake Geneva, the other near Big Bend. We have team coverage tonight. Vince Candela is in the Weather Center. But first, let's get to Ashley Sear. She is live in Waukesha County with a look at some of the damage there. Good evening, Ashley. Good evening. It was a small tornado, but it ripped through the property here. The force of the wind, if you take a look, you can see it peeled back part of a barn roof and it left a path of damage. It was so near. This is the closest I've experienced it. But Dave and Ruth Ann Link feel lucky Bless. after a tornado tore through their property. Yes, absolutely. Wind started up. Tuesday night brought a and big storm. All of a sudden we had a great big bang. An EF1 tornado. It was black. We couldn't see anything. Peeled back part of their barn roof. And the wind was just driving. Trees fell to the ground and it left a path in a nearby cornfield. You can see there's corn this way towards us. There's corn on all sorts of directions where Wednesday morning brought work. It looks like a disaster with the trees down. 12 year old Aiden Armstrong Half of it's helped pick up the mess completely missing with family and friends. It, it cleaned up right away. There was a familiar scene about 30 miles southwest. Parts of Walworth County were also hit by a tornado. But it did start in downtown Lake Geneva and tracked up toward the Waukesha County line. I just feel that our Heavenly Father has been watching over both of us our entire lifetime. Through it all, no one was injured. Most important thing is and that for the links, David's all right to me. And that is something to be grateful for. And I'm fine, and uh, you go from there. The tornado sirens in Lake Geneva did not sound until after that tornado already hit. That's because it came through very quickly. Officials there say it's a reminder that weather can be unpredictable and technology unreliable. Reporting live in Big Bend, Ashley Sears, Fox 6 News. Thank you, Ashley. Weather expert Vince Candela was tracking those storms all day yesterday. He joins us in the Weather Center tonight with the latest and a look ahead. And Ted and Mary, what really made this difficult last night, the Lake Geneva tornado in particular, it was at night, so trained storm spotters really couldn't get a sight of the sky. They couldn't get a good view of any wall cloud that may have descended or any rotation. Plus, it was an HP storm, high precipitation, very heavy precipitation storm. So a lot of the uh, rotation was what's called rain-wrapped, so that would have made visibility even tougher for storm spotters. So all of that combination really made it difficult for any storm spotters to get a handle on this. And by the time it struck, then the weather service was able to actually see the rotation on Doppler radar. As for the Lake Geneva storm, an EF1, 110 miles per hour, uh, began at about 9 p.m., a five-mile wide path. I should say a five-mile path in length, I beg your pardon, and about five-minute duration. And as Steve Hens from the National Weather Service said in Ashley's report, beginning in downtown Lake Geneva and then moving to Lyons. So a rather small path at five miles and a short duration. But even shorter was the Big Bend tornado, EF1, 100-mile-per-hour winds, beginning at 9.30, a one-mile path from around three miles southwest uh, of Big Bend to two miles southwest of Big Bend before it lifted up just before reaching the uh, Edgewood uh, golf course there. So it was, again, one of those storm systems that came through quickly and struck. There was the path that uh, started in downtown Lake Geneva and then basically passed right between the uh, Grand Geneva Resort and Hawksview Golf Course. That's where the path went and then lifting up right around Hospital Road. That was the Lake Geneva one in particular. Here from the National Weather Service is a, a, a graphic that shows the rotation that they were seeing on their Doppler radar and that rotation really increased as the storm got into northwest Racine and the southern part of Waukesha County. Then it started to uh, weaken just a little bit before reaching the city of Waukesha itself. So technology really coming through here to be able to see that rotation and uh, put out that warning storm for the Big Bend area. But that Lake Geneva one, that occurred quickly and again at night, tough for spotters and a rain wrap storm to beat. Our forecast Totally different. Feels great out there. Will it last? My six-day forecast coming up. We'll see you then, Vince.